we're really excited about this food drive that's coming up. It's really going to help us. The food shelves at Fort St. John's Salvation Army are looking quite bare as the nonprofit organization is coping with the lack of donations. We really get a whole lot at Christmas time, you know, and we really did. Our, our warehouse, everything was, was full, but then it kind of tails off, and that's not, uh, that's not a, a, a bad thing. It's just people, it's not in the, in the forefront of everyone's minds. To help the center replenish their goods, the BC Sheriff's Service is hosting a food drive this Sunday at Fort St. John's Save on Foods. We're looking for bottled water, non-perishable food items, hygiene products, gift cards, and money. Any food donations will be staying locally, but any monetary donations collected will be given to a Salvation Army in Fort McMurray to help their residents after a massive wildfire struck their city a month ago. It put more of a perspective to me personally um, when the fires were occurring around the Fort St. John area and there were talk of people getting evacuated. So that made me personally really want to help the people of Fort McMurray and also the people of Fort St. John. The Salvation Army is feeling the effects of a declining economy in the city and this food drive will help them get back on track. We're kind of in a, in a catch here because we want to be able to help and, and, and do as best as we can and give people as much as we can, um, but with more people coming in and less donations, we kind of got to stretch it a little. The organization also has one of their biggest food drives of the year next month and is hopeful those donations will last until the fall. We're also now preparing our Christmas in July, uh, which happens at Safeway, uh, and uh, they do the huge food drive for us then, which kind of gets us through the summer. The BC Sheriff's Service will be collecting donations at their food drive from 12 to 3 p.m. Carissa Wilson, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.